Oh my gosh, I did not pass. Oh, uh, oh that's 55%. Precious. Hello friends, this is Precious and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will share with you my CRC certification exam um, experience. And the first video clip that I showed you was actually the last um, chapter of my course. Uh, it's the score I got for the last uh, on the last chapter. Um, of my course which was uh, chapter 13 and I terribly failed it was like 55% on chapter 13 and I was like oh no <laughs> but that was not the final exam of the course so I'll show you my uh, the total grade I got on the CRC course with AAPC took my certification exam in February 3rd that was Saturday and then it's been a week now and I got the result and and praise the Lord I passed the certification exam um not with a great score but the most important thing is I passed the exam no one have to think about studying again after work I don't have to think about like studying and reviewing during the weekend and it's been it's been nice to like just relax and chill after work like after 4 p.m i'm done working and i don't need to go read my books again oh so for the next three years five years or so i am not taking any certification soon because well i am tired from studying for the next year so i will just rest and um, hone my coding skills and enjoy my experience as medical coder so i'll be showing you the next video clip about what happened during and after my crc certification last saturday and i'm really just happy that i passed the exam so enjoy the video guys bye um I will upload this video um, after the exam or after I pass the exam. Hopefully, I will pass the exam. So, it's February 3rd today and I'm taking it at 1 p.m. It's almost 12.30 and I'm just chilling here in the room because I'm kind of anxious. Well, it's my second time taking um, the online exam through AAPC. So, let's see how it goes. And yeah, wish me luck and pray for me. Bye! Hello friends, I just finished my exam. I think I started, it was 1 p.m. Oh, my exam starts at 1 p.m. So I logged in 15 minutes before it. And then the proctor was really on time, but the scanning of the room, those stuff before the exam took a long, long time, like almost 30 minutes. So... Uh, but the, that part of thing, like the scanning, the reviewing of what you have, what you have to have in the room and what you should not have in the room, those stuff did not take the four hours of the exam. It's not part of the four hours. But then still, um, I took I, I started the exam around one thirty ish, I believe, and then I finished at 3 57 exactly i saw it on the on the clock and then what was funny is the was the um scanning of the room checking what's up in the room um what else like my id um the book like 
put some notes in there aside from the written notes that you have and then um what took it longer also was like in my in this room we have like drawers in the on this desk right and then he wanted also to remove all stuff in this one so yeah so this drawers here like all the stuff there were removed and it's actually so i asked him if i can just throw it on the bed i just throw all of his stuff on the bed and then he said yeah okay just throw it on the bed that's fine and then under the desk also was like he saw that i have a trash can there so he said also to remove the trash can to move it somewhere so i did that and also um yeah, scanning under the desk, on the floor, the whole room, checking if the windows are closed. And then I he was kind of like confused of the of my door right there. He he felt like there are two doors, but I stood up right there and showed him that there is only one door and what he's seeing is another wall. So yeah. Mm. So that's it. And then what else? Um, what else? Um, yeah, the exam. I mean, I already gave up. <laughs> it was so difficult. Like, I believe the coding, like, the codes, the reporting, the reporting of codes, those stuff, I think I did well on those. Like, finding the correct codes, I think I did well on that. But... The other stuff like the documentation uh like the like the 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 modeling the predictive modeling um and other stuff like the guidelines about the everything like you really have to learn during the crc course i was focused more on coding reporting codes and not on the the guidelines all of the stuff that you have to remember yeah i really don't remember how the, like the rules and guidelines that you have to learn in crc course i did not focus on that on my whole entire course journey i read a little bit here and there and then just uh during the during my review when i had my review i took a day off so i was just like yesterday friday took a day off and saturday today is my exam so yesterday i was just like reading through the books i mean the crc guidebook i just read through them through that and then just like oh okay this is hcc this is hhs this is hipaa there this is uh risk adjustment value uh, this is Rad V Audit. This is like blah, 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 blah. I just read them yesterday. Like really got serious reading them yesterday. So yeah, I'm for my codes, for the reporting of codes. Yes, again, I'm confident on them. But with the other stuff, I am not. So I have two, I have two attempts in this exam. I have to attempt so yeah i'm already accepting the fact that i think i did not pass but i pray that i will pass because i don't want to take the exam again it's tiring yeah so yeah that's my setup that's my wall uh, that's my camera that's my id my laptop my book and my water there's my water yeah those are the things that are only allowed on your on your desk so that's it. I hope I made it.